You've been diagnosed with scapular dyskinesis and you have no idea what that means. This video is just for you with the right exercise to correct it. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Dr. Shakib from Irvine Spinal Wellness Center, your Irvine Posture and Movement Chiropractic Clinic. Scapular dyskinesis is a fancy way of saying shoulder blade malpositioning and improper movement. That's what it is. And it's very common because we sit behind the computers and we roll forward. We basically mold ourselves into a really dysfunctional positioning of our shoulder blades. So the thing to do is you need to understand your shoulder blade is sitting on top of your torso in the back. So we need to be able to move it over the body. And so when the muscles are short, the muscles that are engaged in that movement are short and tight, that's just not happening. So you can have winging of the shoulder blades and dispositioning of scapula. So the thing to do is actually an offshoot of another video I've done, which is what we call low tabletop. It's a developmental kinesiology. It's a baby exercise we, we do with our patients for different things, including shoulder blade malpositioning. So we're gonna make sure we put that at the end of this video. If you wanna pause and go to it and then come back, by all means, go for it. So what you wanna do is you wanna position yourself in the same exact position as low tabletop, I will spare you off the instruction as to what, how that's done. I'll just remind you that your whole spine needs to be in a neutral position. So we're gonna position ourselves in that, in that position and then glide the neck up or the whole body up in this position so you're in a higher and you're not going to be rolling your shoulder blades around or making the distance between your shoulder joints too close to each other it needs to be neutral so you're at the top end of low tabletop and you're balancing yourself the neck is gliding up not looking up your spine is neutral your barrel is engaged and what you're doing is you're trying to keep the socket because the shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint. So you're trying to keep the socket quiet as you're moving the ball inside the socket. So watch me. First, you're gonna have to position so for the proper positioning is to send the shoulder blade towards your back pocket. So it's staying flat. Your spine is neutral, so you're not curving it up or arching your lower back. And then you're holding your neck up and you lift, you go through the movement, you bring it back and go again and start coming back, placing it and doing it on the other side. So once again, you're keeping the shoulder blade quiet and moving the ball inside the socket. The socket is your shoulder blade. So you have to understand proper positioning of shoulder blade in the shoulder joint requires sometimes the socket moving, sometimes the ball has to move independent to some degree. And all this time, your torso needs to be, <clears throat> excuse me, stabilized for the whole movement. We are so busy doing all these exercises constantly, we pay minimal, if at all, attention to the positioning of our body parts in exercises, and that's how we injure ourselves. And that's how we're just wasting time being busy, but not effective. I hope that this helped. If you have any questions, or if you have issues with your shoulder or shoulder blade or neck and shoulder issues, make sure you use one of the methods of contact in the description box and contact my office for an appointment. Until next time, take care.